Hello friends, good evening. Today I want to present a live business case where Odoo inventory account is set up differently and expectation has made differently. So the thing is like you can see I am on Odoo version 17 while where I have enabled automatic accounting with stock valuation properties. I haven't give customer and vendor bill discount invoices. I haven't enabled Anglo section accounting. And this is my product which I am buying at 1 rupee per unit. And in my product category, I have set inventory valuation and my costing method is standard. Where stock received interim, stock delivered interim accounts has been set and I haven't uh, set up price difference account even. So what happens now when I am, you know, making a purchase of this product and here is my general ledger which I have enabled it from today. Today is 9th March and then now I am making a purchase from a vendor for product L1. So I am buying 100 units. I confirm the order and I receive the products. Now in my general ledger, the accounting impact will show my inventory is debited with 100 rupees while the counterparty stock received interim account is credited. Now what happens is when I receive my vendor bill, the vendor uh, with vendor I have an arrangement and I am eligible to get 10% discount. So now my purchase expense has been booked with 90 only against my stock which was actually a 100 rupees stock and I confirm my vendor bill. So now on my ledger the effect will show because Anglo section was not enabled these 100 rupees of stock and stock received interim account are open and my creditors I am booking 90 rupees plus taxes and then my purchase expense also booked at 90 rupees. Now what to do uh, with this 10 rupees of difference? Right now at this level it, it is not impacting uh, you know much because uh, we have settled it down. But as Anglo section is not enabled, my stock received interim will open. Now what happens when I am making the sales? For the same item which I have purchased. So I am selling the same L1 10 units to a customer at 10 rupees per unit and I confirm it. So I am validating the delivery and here if I see my ledger again my stock will go down by 10 rupees which is perfect. My stock delivered account will be having an impact of 10 rupees because my stock valuation was 10. Okay. So it is now settled down and if I book my customer invoice also now it will book everything perfectly because Anglo section is not enabled and my entry goes smooth but here is when we see from vendor 100 rupees stock came and I still have a difference so over here if I want to club uh, and perfect you know my inventory account then without Anglo section I should use only one account which will settle down my stock received interim and stock delivered against the uh, uh, creditors uh, you know payable and purchase expense it will book 90 only which doesn't harm much okay because my 
uh, uh, you know inventory was booked at 100 and I am paying 90 rupees to a vendor ultimately which is wrong but yeah still it doesn't impact much now what happens if I wish to settle down uh, these entries then I have to clear uh, the accounts right so here under stock uh, received interim for 100 rupees of uh, you know credit when I book a bill of 90 rupees where does this you know uh, 10 rupees goes so to settle it down uh, we should do something like uh, we have to book a journal entry which can settle down uh, this difference currently it is only single entry so we cannot uh, uh, see much difference but if you have booked almost a sales and purchase for over the period of few weeks or few months and you realize uh, uh, the difference it will create a huge impact okay so now uh, easily uh, you know i can uh, fix like stock received interim account against uh, purchase expense account and uh, would like to book a uh, difference entry which was where i have to book somewhere uh, so what i will do is uh, if i open uh, or let's say uh, these journal items i wanted to book you know and reconcile against stock received interim okay. so here against 100 the 90 rupees is po this is a settlement i am showing you and over here i have to book uh, you know another uh, uh, maybe uh, journal entry which will help uh, you know ultimately uh, to reverse uh, this particular effect okay so if i want to reconcile it won't allow me right so i have to use another account let's say cash difference or stock adjustment or stock fix account let's say we can take that and we can settle this minus 10 rupees over there okay and then we can say tender bill difference entry and then it will reconcile like this so now in my general ledger if you can see that this 10 rupees of difference has been marked as write-off and the counterpart goes to stock's fixed account which was actually a discount okay. now what i will do to again uh, register my uh, you know entries which i wanted to do you know uh, with anglo section so what i will do is i will simply enable my anglo section accounting okay and uh, once i am done with that what i have to do next I like anglo section is enabled and anglo section can book my cost of goods or purchase expense when i book a bill so as soon as I reverse my entry now you can see stock delivered interim and purchase expense has been booked because of Anglo section so on my general ledger now stock received uh, stock delivered has been booked and my purchase expense has also been booked at actual okay so this is how uh, I have uh, fixed uh, the settlement where there was a gap of 10 rupees from purchase order to vendor bill. Okay. Now, what happens? You know, Anglo section is enabled, and uh, I should, uh, you know, also fix inside my product category. a stock fix account so which i would like to take a stock fix account 
and angular section is enabled now so now if i book any new purchase order for the same item l1 which i am buying again 100 units and i am going and receiving the product okay so on my general ledger i will see again 100 rupees of stock in my inventory again stock received entering and now when i book my vendor bill again and here let's say vendor is giving me 10 percent discount and i confirm so what odoo has does odoo has automatically register this 10 rupees of difference under stock received interim 10 rupees debit against stock fixed account which was my uh, the counterpart account so my inventory is very much clear now because i have booked or i have received 100 rupees of inventory from vendor 2 and against that i have you know uh, hit stock received interim account by 100 credited and when i book my vendor bill it has divided into two counterpart 90 rupees goes to vendor bill one and again as a purchase account and 10 rupees uh, goes to stock fix account so you can see now purchase expense uh, will be booked when i will you know uh, sell that item because of anglo section but my account is very much clear now because my entry is perfectly working fine when i wanted to uh, you know uh, register such discount which i am receiving at a time of vendor bill preparation the same can apply to another case where vendor is charging more again you can uh, you know do the same thing with with a stock fix account so let's say if i am buying again this unit from my another vendor and confirm the order and receive the product and validate it and during vendor bill creation vendor is charging me let's say 1.1 rupees per unit because he has changed the price so on journal items you can see odoo has automatically detected the stock received interim debit by 110 and stock fixed account debit by 10 and then stock received interim credit by 10 and my general ledger will be again clear because of this automation so my 100 rupees of inventory came from door vendor which you can see over here and then stock received was 100 rupees but my vendor bill was 110 and then uh, again it has you know credited the stock fix account so you can see stock fix debited by 10 and this stock interim credited by 10 to settle out this 100 and 10 rupees additional which my vendor has billed me because of increasing price so my books are clear now and it will not impact anywhere in my business because of this hope uh, this kind of uh, things may help uh, many accountant and many consultant uh, if they are struggling with the similar situation thank you very much